Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my lady, my laptop, and my living room. My name's Eric, and this is my lovely lady, Lisi. And uh, we're here tonight, and we're going to be talking about gas. What is he talking about? Maybe not what you think. The crazy gas prices that are going on, forget about it. Let's don't even talk about that. And I'm really not talking about the other. So what am I talking about? Gear acquired syndrome. You musicians know what I'm talking about. You know when you need that other pedal or that new keyboard and how about the guitar players? Guitar acquired syndrome. Just can't have enough. But you golfers too. Golf acquired syndrome. You're out there every Sunday while the wife's at home and you're playing with your buddy and he's got this new nine iron and you go, gee buddy, I, I, I need to get one of those. You know? But back to the guitar players, it's like, Hey, honey, I saw this new orchestra model, and uh, it, it, it's got a Zeracote beautiful back and sides and a Carpathian spruce from Europe, and, and it just sounds so good, and it's uh, only $5,000. But the ladies, you're not getting away with it either. You have gear acquired syndrome too. It might not be musical gear. How about jewelry acquired syndrome? Purse acquired syndrome. Honey, there's this new outfit at Dillard's that I just gotta have that's on sale. Syndrome. And then there's the the best one of all. Shoe acquired syndrome. Because my closet only has 40. And honey, by the way, instead of going golfing this weekend, can you make my shoe shelves a little bit bigger? Yeah, sure, hon. If you don't mind me uh, putting that order in for that new OM. Yeah, I used to have about 12 or 14 guitars. I got three or four now. But uh, hey, back in the band days, you walk into my man cave and there was 13, 14 of those babies sitting there. Because I had to have colors, sizes, you know, Les Pauls, Strats, you know, acoustics. I had to have a red one, a white one, you know, one with a whammy bar. You know what I'm talking about. And hey, don't stay in there and look at them for more than 30 seconds, okay? Spinal Tap Syndrome went out the door after a few years, if you know what I mean. So... What are we going to do? You going to write her a love song? Eh, that's nice. That might work a little bit, a little bit. But you kind of got to balance it out a little bit. Honey, oh yeah, go get that outfit over there while I put down this down payment over here. On, uh, this is what I need. So it's all about balance. Love that lady. Love that woman. Put her on a pedestal. That's what today's song's all about. Putting that lady on a pedestal. Cherishing her. Okay? It's not about gas. It's about loving your woman. Even though I'm a player. A guitar player. I got a couple guitars. We're players. Nah. Alright. Moving on. So, you know I'm trying to keep it real. Trying to mix it up a little bit. I got a little something current for you today. Train's got a new CD out called, um, I don't know what it's called. But I know there's a tune on there that I like. It's called Marry Me. And that's what I'm doing today. But you know Uncle Skillet's got to put his own little flavor, so I added a little verse to it. Sorry, Pat, lead singer. Hope you don't mind. And by the way, if you ever get to listen to his version of California by Led Zeppelin, he does a jam-up job, so maybe he'll forgive me if I add a little verse to a song. Just a little bit. Which reminds me, today's beverage. A little bit of the bubbly. Mmm, very nice. Which, by the way, I'll have to take another sip because I want to toast my son and his fiancée, Gail, and my niece, 
Kimberly and her fiance Jonathan. That calls for a second swig. A little bit, uh, no, about that bit, yeah, okay. So anyway, train, marry me. in your heart. 